We're gonna start a beard revolution. Gotta start a beard revolution. Gotta start a beard revolution. And we're gonna start today. We're gonna start today. Children, throw down your weapons. Soldiers, lay down your guns. Bearded men, put down those trimmers. The beard revolution has come. We're gonna start a beard revolution. Gonna start a beard revolution. Gonna start a beard revolution. Now we're gonna start today. We're gonna start today. Heathen beards in the workplace. I'm making this video because I have tried looking up this video in a time of need. My very first job when I was in Texas was a hospital security position, kind of beginning of the pandemic. And they had a company policy that you had to either be clean shaven or had the most like thin, tiny goatee ever. And it was sad and pathetic. This was not my first hospital security position. I had done uh, hospital security for about a year and a half back for in California. Almost everybody on staff had beards. We had one guy that had a mustache and one guy that was clean shaven. Everybody else, beards. It was never an issue. Uh, there's actually a thing called a papper that you can put on that pushes air out and we had to get trained to use it. Um, you either had to make sure you had a good seal with the N95 or you could wear the papper. Obviously, most of us had the papper because we had beards. That being said, I was uh, fired for trying to maintain a beard, and uh, I had actually ended up cutting it down down to about there, and it looked sad and pathetic. I was too embarrassed to film at the time, <laughs> um, and uh, even that was still too long for them. And then I ended up sending an email to their HR uh, citing military cases that allowed beards, right? You know, it's a tactical field, right? It's the it's security. It's kind of, you know, lower end, but obviously, uh, you know, some, some of the tactical stuff kind of still applies. So it kind of made sense to, to cite those. And then I also cited the Texas Civil Rights Act. Uh, I believe it was passed in like the 60s. And still... Uh, about, what was it, I think four hours later, uh, I got an email saying they just found some random excuse to uh, to let me go. Uh, they literally fired me because I didn't have $10 at the time to finish my uh, certification, my, my fingerprints for my, my guard card, which after they fired me, I just like borrowed $10, went down there and fucking did it. It was no big deal. And I'm gonna rant about Texas at some point, but Texas is really bad about putting the cost on the individual rather than the business absorbing it. It's just, it's absolutely ludicrous. Not a fan of this state, but again, that'll be a different video. So all that being said, I have had a pretty decent amount of success. I created a beard waiver and it'll be in the description. I'm gonna link to it, it's, uh, it's in my Google Drive. I've had multiple people now, military included, that were allowed to have beards at work. I've even used it myself for one job. And so far I haven't had a single neg negative reaction. One person said it required a signature and now it's on there, so it hasn't been an issue. Beards and heathenry, to broach this topic, are not required. However, that doesn't mean your path doesn't require a beard. That doesn't mean that your religious expression doesn't require a beard. Um, religion is a very personal thing. Nothing is truly required in heathenry, but you can, for your personal beliefs, for yourself, require a beard. And I give a few different reasons and, you know, cite some some of the lore in the uh, the beard waiver. If you want to read that, you can get more specifics. Because, you know, it, it was kind of a social thing, of course, but nothing was ever really universal within heathenry. I think the uh, continental Germanics were a little more lax on beard stuff. I, no, they also like emulated the Romans if they were closer to the border, so that's a whole ass thing. But anyway, to pull up another soapbox here, why is it that our workplaces get to dictate what we look like? Like uniform is one thing. Um, I think recognizability, especially if you're in an industry like security, 
is good because you need to be able to like visually recognize that. I hate working in places where I'm like, I don't know who the heck this person is. Why are they telling me to do something? Who the hell are you, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? I hate that. And maybe that's kind of my how how my brain is kind of wired, but it, it's probably also just kind of left over from the military. You know, in, in the military, it's fairly obvious what branches are because they all have different like cami patterns and shit. Uh, but then also, the names on there, the ranks on there. Like, <laughs> I know who you are just by looking at your uniform. I like that. So I'm not really like too anti-uniform. Uh, I think some companies could like be a little more lax. Uh, I don't think jeans are really unprofessional, but boomers apparently do, so whatever. And, you know, pants. But, like, stuff that outside of work, like my facial hair, how I have my hair cut, fuck, even tattoos. Who gives a shit? If we normalize looking the way you want to rather than the way somebody is dictating you look, then everybody would be on the same page. You know, obviously certain social standards, but you know, we need to be more lax. Like who gives a shit? You know, I've, uh, I have a friend who, that did security and he's got freaking head tattoos. Who gives a shit? You know, it didn't affect his work at all. Um, he's done firefighting too. Guess what? Didn't affect that. <laughs> and if you're in an office setting, who gives a shit? Like, let's normalize looking the way you fucking want to. And I think beards are a good start. Definitely from a heathen perspective, definitely with that beard waver. You know, it's it's an expression of self. Uh, I like the way I look with a beard. I hate the way I look clean shaven. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? And we need to stop letting work dictate how we look. It's, it's really fucking stupid. Hygiene is one thing, but beyond that, who cares? Who fucking gives a shit, honestly? And to, like, build on that, what if you're having issues with your identity, right? Think about trans men that want to uh, present as male. And one of the things that would help is growing a beard. You know, maybe uh, it's a North he Norse heathen trans man, and... They want to freaking grow a beard. Like, that makes sense to me. It's an expression of self. It's who you are. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, to summarize, beards are not required in heathenry. I made a beard waiver. Use it if you want to grow a beard. Let's promote freedom in the workplace. Skull! Had a girl. She asked me to trim back my face hair But nobody ever tells me to shave Tells me to shave So I dumped her I dumped her I straight away